Hello. Today we are going to be doing question two. Optics for NECO 2025 physics practicals. I've done for mechanics question one. I've done for electricity question three. For biology, I invited a doctor, Dr. Joke for chemistry. We have done all this. Today we are doing optics. Please check the previous video and make sure you use all this guide to prepare yourself before the exam. For the optics, we are expected to bring convex lens. Hope you know the difference between convex lens and concave lens. Convex lens is also known as converging lens. Then we have the screen. This is the lens holder. This is our rail bus. And then the meter rule. Please do well to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and turn the bell notification for so that whenever any video is up, you'll be the first to get the notification. And share this video to anyone writing NECO 2025. Recommend this channel to any students, any science students you know. Okay, let's go right into the question. The instruction says, fix a meter rule on the bench with the graduated facing up. Place the illuminated object at the zero end of the rule and the screen at the other end as illustrated in the diagram above. The illuminated object at the zero end then the screen at the other end. Let's look at step two. Measure and record D, the distance between the object and the screen. Evaluate D square. Place and move the converging lens between the illuminated object and the screen until a diminished sharp image of the object is formed on the screen it's until we get a sharp image read and record the position x1 of the lens from this position move the lens towards the object until another sharp image of the object is formed on the screen read and record the new position x2 of the lens evaluate and record l it was x1 minus x2, l square and d square minus l square. Repeat the procedure for d equal 90, 80, 70, and 60 cm. In each case, evaluate l, l square and d square minus l square. Tabulate your readings. Plot a graph of d square minus l square on the vertical axis against d on the horizontal axis. Determine the slope of the graph. You need to know the precautions. Then there are other questions. Distinguish between a real image and a virtual image. Draw a red diagram to show how a converging lens may be used to form a real diminished image of an object. These are questions that can come under it. At each point, we'll move this object to get a very diminished sharp image. When we move it towards the screen, then we'll move also towards the object and get another image. And then get the distance x1 and x2. We'll be calculating x2 minus x1 at different points where we'll be getting the sharp image so the first one is for 100 for 100 let's see where we'll get a very sharp image for 100 okay let's see where we'll get a very sharp image you see how look at the screen when you fix your eyes at the screen you will see that at this point, you can see the very sharp image. 
If I move it away, it's becoming blood again. Then, see the sharp and diminished is at this point. Sharp and diminished is at this point. So, we may record this one at the center. We'll record our X1, that's 75.00. Then we'll move it back again to get the second position when it's towards the object. Okay, when I'm moving it towards the object, I want to get another sharp image. I have it here. If I move it further, it's not sharp again. If I move it back, so I'm getting it at this point. At 21, I'll record 21. Hope you can see the sharp image. I'll record 21. Then I'll do for 90 cm. I want to do for 90 cm now. So what I'll do is to move this forward by 5 cm move this forward by 5 cm so i've ended up removing five here five here so that here is five and here is 95 95 minus five will give me 90 cm so i'll repeat the same procedure move it forward until i get a sharp image until i get a sharp image I'll move it, if I move it back, it's... then I'll move it forward until I get a sharp image. That's that. 68. So, in the same manner, we'll do for 70 and 60. Ensure that the distance between this and this is 60. This is 80, here is 20, that's 60. When you move it forward, you take your readings, then move it back to take your readings. Also for 70, you move it 5, 5 meter and take your readings. Then, what will your graph look like and what are you expected to plot? This is what your table will look like. X1, we got our readings. X2, you fill it up. X2 minus X1 is cm then l square will be cm square this l is equal to x2 minus x1 so you square it whatever you get here is l l square then square this square this square minus l square then when you're plotting you're going to plot graph of d square minus l square against d you are plotting this against this. Please try it. Drop a comment in the comment section. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. I got this from 2000 past question. You can check the past questions and then ask your question. Hope you got value. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.